In today's episode, you will learn how to make a low-cost automatic water tip control system without using the Arduino. A few days back, I got a message from Shafiq, who is from India and is one of my subscribers, that he had a problem in connecting the IR sensor with a relay to control a solenoid valve. I sent him some voice messages and explained the whole thing. He was actually inspired by this project, Arduino based automatic water tip using solenoid valve, infrared sensor and a relay. I will also share a link of this video in the description if in case you want to watch this tutorial. Shafiq actually wanted to reduce the price so that's why he decided not to use the Arduino and wanted to control the solenoid valve using only the IR sensor and a relay module. As per his requirement, I sent him some circuit diagrams. He followed my instructions and completed his project successfully. So this episode is all about how you can make the same automatic water tape control system without using the Arduino. Can this little cute princess get at least 1000 likes? Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This schematic is designed in Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make a schematic and PCB then watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description. This schematic can be downloaded from my website. First of all, let's start with the power supply. This is a 5 volt regulated power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator. J2 is a female power jig and this is where we connect a 12 volt adopter, a battery or a solar panel. By using the solar panel and a small battery you can reduce the electricity bill. The other advantage of using the battery is in case of an emergency situation like for example if the power is disconnected from the utility company still the automatic water tip control system won't stop working in countries like pakistan india bangladesh etc where people face heavy load shedding battery is the best option so j2 is a female power jig where we connect a 12 volt adopter a battery or a solar panel a 470 microfarad capacitor is connected at the input side of the LM7805 voltage regulator. The metal leg of the voltage regulator is connected with the ground of the power supply and also make sure you connect all the grounds together. Another 470 microfarad capacitor is connected at the output of the voltage regulator. A 330 ohm resistor is connected in series with a 2.5 volt LED. This is a current limiting resistor. The output of the voltage regulator is connected with the VCC pin of the infrared sensor. The ground pin is connected with the ground while the output pin of the infrared sensor is connected with the base of the 2N2222 NPN transistor through a 10K resistor. The emitter of the 2N2222 NPN transistor is connected with the ground. While the collector of the transistor is connected with one leg of the relay coil and the other leg of the relay coil is connected with the 12 volts. The normally open leg of the relay is connected with the 12 volts. The common leg or contact of the relay is connected with one wire of the solenoid valve, while the other wire of the solenoid valve is connected with the ground. This is a 12 volt normally closed type solenoid valve. In the market, we have different types of solenoid valves. The size and shape can be different from this one, but the basic working principle of all the solenoid valves is exactly the same. As you can see, this solenoid valve has two coil contacts, and as you can see, I have already soldered a female power jig. The ground pin of the female power jig is connected with this coil contact of the solenoid valve while the other coil contact of the solenoid valve will be connected with the 12 volts. I cut this wire so that I can connect this with the relay normally open and the common contact. Now let's connect a 12 volt adopter. 
as you can see the ground is directly connected and now if we touch these two wires together you can see the solenoid valve can be controlled so this is how a solenoid valve works there are all mainly two types of infrared sensors the one as you can see has three male header pins the VCC the ground and the output while the other type has four male headers the fourth one is the EN pin this one is the ground this one is the output while this is the VCC both the infrared sensors work in the same way so it really doesn't matter which type of the infrared sensor you use this is the regulated 5 volt power supply based on the LM705 voltage regulator this is the female power jack over here we connect 12 volts all the other components are already explained in the circuit diagram this is the 5 volt wire while the gray wire is the ground wire this is a 3 channel relay module but we will use only one relay as we are going to control only one solenoid valve over here we will connect 12 volts let's first of all check the infrared sensor connect the 5 volt and ground pins of the regulated 5 volt power supply with the VCC and ground pins of the infrared sensor We can use this wire to control a relay. Connect all the components as per the circuit diagram as explained. All the components are connected together and are powered up using a 12 volt adopter. As you can see, the solenoid valve can be controlled automatically. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.